let's have an opening prayer for our class. Are you ready to pray? Let us pray. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. Bless us, help us to be more attentive, patient, and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us. Bless our beloved country that we may have unity, peace, and prosperity. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we are now will be dealing with the lesson two on survey of scientific development. We are going to discover, we're going to uncover things up concerning those developments in science and technology. Dito natin aalamin sino sino yung involved, those recorded persons again, and their contributions to science and technology. But before that, before we go down to our discussion, uh, allow me to present to you the lesson objective of this topic. This is actually lesson two class, huh? Okay, so expected from you that you'll be able to articulate ways by which society is transformed by science and technology. When we say articulate ways, what does that mean? What do you mean by articulate ways by which society is transformed by science and technology? What might be the possible things or what might be the possible ways that you as a student can contribute to the transformation made possible by science and technology? How is that possible? For me, articulate ways is the ways and how society is being transformed by science and technology. Okay, perhaps. Thank you for your idea. Perhaps it's the matter of how we weigh or paano natin binabalance? Tama ba ang pagkakaintindi ko, Jeline? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. What else? I guess it is all about how we embrace those developments in a large sphere influence. Yes, thank you very much. That's exactly one of the point. Thank you for your idea. What else? You may have your answer through the chat box. You are encouraged to do so. And I guess to make life easier, easily understood, able to express idea clearly. What else? Anyway, as we go down with the discussion, we'll definitely to able to express idea and thought. Very Miriam definition. Okay, so before we go down, anyway, we'll be dealing with that. Before we go down, allow me to bring with you to Mentimeter. Favorito natin si Mentimeter because ano siya, user-friendly, to fully understand the topic and core. Now, allow me to navigate with you to Mentimeter. Please go to Mentimeter class, then input the following codes as projected in the screen. And input 3086142. Now, your task, first include your name for your participation since these things are all recorded. And your task is to state one known scientist and its contribution to scientific development. Please do not Google. Just go back, retrieve your information, your previous knowledge on who are those important persons whom you know contributed a lot in the scientific development, in scientific inventions. Yung alam nyo lang. Write your name first. Are you following, my dear student? Sir, I can't connect to Memti. I just comment down below. Yes, you may. Ang code natin ay 3086-1424. Again, 3086-1424. Hindi ito online selling, ha? Again, ang code natin ay 3086-1424. Si Jeline Simon Fraud, psycho Psychoanalysis in 1900. Very good. Thank you for your participation as presented in the chat box. Thomas Edison 1. Ako din po, sir. Can't connect to Timitir. Jeline, okay lang. Ayan. Rosas John Errol A. B.S. in English. Aratus Tennis. Uh, he is the one calculated the Earth's circumference by observing the sun's ray. And I guess it is helpful in unlocking new fields of astronomy and some parts of philosophy. Very good. Mar Yamson is a Newton law of motion. Okay. Thank you. Char Charis Mendy says, the telephone of okay, Alexander Graham Bell. True. That's correct. Same idea from Charlotte. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Same pa rin. Alexander Graham Bell, he invented the telephone, which is one of the best invention ever. May pa ever, ever pa. John Errol pa din. Charles Darwin, Theory of Evolution. Thomas 
person he invented kinetoscope i i don't have any idea what is kinetoscope maybe this person might share to us what is kinetoscope because i know that you know more than i knew this time Ga uh, galileo galilei telescope very good that is exactly einstein's copernicus heliocentric model einstein's theory of relativity max planck discovered the theory of quanta yes the theory of quanta Kain, Kayubit, Rurik Table, Dimitri Ivanovich Mendeleev, Correct, Lorenzo, Nicholas Copernicus, astronomer who proposed that planet revolve around the sun, Correct, Albert Einstein invented a refrigerator, Zach Newton, known for inventing calculus, according to Eddie Gray, Democritus, discovery of atom, very good, the, the discrete unit of matter, is continuous, John Errol, kinetoscope, device used for slow motion, I guess, I thank you for your idea, Christopher Wren, attributed in architecture and astronomy, baka may Filipino tayo dyan. Galilega, he discovered law of pendulum. Yes. In the mo the, for the unit of force. Let's go back to Mentimeter. To Gomez, John Dalton, color blindness. Yes. Renz, Recto, Zacharias, Johnson, invented the microscope. Correct. Melanie, Bangkulo, Galilei, Galil Galileo, Galilei made some great contribution revising Aristotle's idea, which mostly false. Was false. Example, heliocentrism, telescopes faster, light or heavy objects, and etc. Dr. Enrique Austria invented drug detection. According to Francis. Uh, Mary Grace from BT Led is acting on form of the field. Yes, universal gravity. Simon Fraud, according to Christopher Dolphin. Hans Leprosy, my idol, invented the telescope, according to Marvin de Ontoy. John Lukonje, relativity and greatest physicist of the time. Ernst Ruska, discovered scanning, tanning, tunneling microscope. Ivy Gray, developed theory of relativity. Alexander Fleming, discovered penicillin. Reclium Natatum. Louis Pasteur, founder of the field of microbiology. Uh huh. My Michael Faraday, electric motor, marine science, Edgardo Gomez, correct Filipino one. Michael Faraday, power of electromagnetic induction, medical incubator, we do that already. We've made mention that already, Fidel Mundo. Billy Thompson, yes, the discovery of subatomic particles. Eleni Pangkulo, Robert Hooke was among the first to use microscope coin the term cell. Aha, uh -huh, Robert Hooke, when he rose at Palsa, Charles Babbage invented the first computer. Marie Curie conducted experiments on uranium rays. Okay, thank you very much, class. Perhaps majority of the class and most of you having or have already have this knowledge, of course, kasi pabalik-balik lang naman, concerning on those people involved in the development and the discovery of various uh, scientific knowledge being in being discovered by these known scientists. Alright, let's continue. We're going to have the survey of scientific developments. But before we proceed, I would like to thank all of those answers. Ayan. Still in Greek and Roman times, in the ancient Greek, the first culture, the first culture to undertake the scientific inquiry, of course, alam natin yan, yung mga galing. Sounds from Aristotle, Plato, Thales, and, Mo and even Democritus, Anaximenes, at marami pang iba. During the Greek, in Roman times. After the equivalent upheavals caused by the discovery and use of iron weapons, the Greeks began to explain the universe and themselves in a deeper way. The earliest Greeks were settled along the western coast of, of Asia my, my Minor or Minor in Sicily in South Italy, where the following have been fully developed. These are the things saved the way on the discovery being discovered and developed during the Greek and Roman times. And these are basic elements of mathematics, simple computing, Thing. Yung pag, uh, in a trading system nila sa pagpapalitan ng produkto, yung pang palitan ng isang produkto sa uh, kapwa nila mag, uh, mga ngalakal, na, they were able to have to discover and develop those basic elements. Simple adding, simple, yes, the barter. Thank you, Rihina. Yung palitan ng produkto nila. Ang simple mathematics is like addition, paano idaradagbag, paano, how they are going to compute the profit, especially for those business-minded people, business one. And, and have also the astronomy, the mechanics, physics, geography, and medicine. Let's have the first five centuries. The potential ruin of Hel Hellenic Greece caused such changes all around that scholars agreed in using a new name to designate the new culture, which developed chiefly from the third century. During this time, the center was no longer in Athens and other Greek cities which were established outside Europe. Doon nagsimula culture or the nature of interspersed practices on the development of scientific uh, inventions. The golden age of the Greeks in science coincided with their golden age in literature which took place primarily in Athens on 4th and 5th century BC. That golden century was brought to a close 
by a political murder of Socrates in 399 BC. Kasi dati, alam natin that in order to at least accommodate or in order to give the privilege or the right to become a leader, alam natin na usually a family a present within a family and pa an patayan wherein a brother to a brother kasi gusto niya siya ang maglilid siya ang magro ng isang ng isang kingdom or ng isang um, community nangyari di nangyari, nangyari yan during the time of Socrates the fourth century was even richer in scientific advance achievement and was dominated by two greatest personalities in history kilala natin sila the first half was dominated by Plato and the second half by Aristotle in the fifth century there are major developments in in this century, some notable changes which radically changed the course of the Western world are as follows. These are important things. The invention of typography about the middle of the 15th century. The geographic discoveries initiated by Henry the Navigator which reached its climax at the end of the century with the voyage of Columbus and other. That's the reason why because of, of their na navigating abilities, they navigate or they traveled around the globe. Alam natin the contribution of Columbus that on the idea that the universe or the, the earth is really uh, bilog talaga siya. Yun ang pinaka-basic idea nila. Printing, the, the printing machine opened the production of standard text and a little later standard illustration they were able to have this printing machine already compared to the uh, ancient times that they don't have this one yet for the first time progress of knowledge could be registered as soon as it was standardized and transmitted to every corner of the civilized world the civilization started to, or, to emerge wherein there is already standard standardization on the different practices in terms of the communication and the delivery of the text and even information. Until this period, the East and West had worked together, but now the Muslim East, increasingly inhibited by religious obscurism, rejected printing, insists to cooperate with the Western world. Even up to the present, there is really the conflict, right? The conflict as far as religious matters are concerned, especially on the practices. Just like today, there are countries who prohibit those people na talagang they are representing a certain scenario or a certain religious images, especially in Muslim countries, pag nakita nila na ah, ilalagay, uh, being set as examples sa uh, textbook, talagang nagagalit sila. And you, are, you will be subjected for a certain punishment, a certain pinaparat, binibigyan ka ng parusa na ay, minsan nga kamatayan pa. Just like itong nangyari lang, yung naka-uniform, if you, if you not, if you were able to view that in a news, yung, yung Pil Pinay ba yun? Yung Pilipino? Isang Pinay na nag-tiktok where naka-uniform siya sa in Muslim countries, napanood nyo yun? Automatically, o, oh, diba? Automatically, Automatically, that practice, the female one, yung pinay na yun, talagang tinanggal siya sa trabaho. And that's because of the religious practices. Yan ang tinatang religious obscurism. The discovery of printing was so important that it is well to consider it in the beginning of the new period. The so-called Renaissance, which is almost exclusively Western as far as science is concerned. Dito nagsimula. The called Renaissance or the rise of modern invention. Wherein, science is started to prosper during the Renaissance, Renaissance period. In this rena Renaissance, the discovery of the text of the Greek classics, most of which had been known only through Latin translation of Arabic writings, was well known during the Renaissance period. This period is considered as the continuation of the Middle Ages during the medieval time. And the growth of academics. Uh, during the Renaissance period, here comes not the academics, the establishment of education. There is now the mandatory schooling for children. Nakakinakailangan na makap makapag-aral lahat. The printing shops became numerous and the number of printed books increased immeasurably thereafter because there is a need for the submission of the students or sending the, the, the pupils or the sons and daughters to school. There is also the improvement in terms of the communication of scientific knowledge. This is the reason why nagkaroon ng Royal Society of Academics. Improved communication, of course, nagsimula na kasi nagkaroon ng the Royal Society class. All the scientific discovery, recent development, pinipresent nila doon. Yun ang tinatawag nila the Royal Society sa England. The earliest of this were in Italy and Germany, which is short-lived, more influential with the Royal Society of England. And the former was a private institution in London included such scientists as Robert Hooke, John Wallace, William Brooker, Thomas Sedinon, and John Mayo. Jose Rizal, Dr. Jose Rizal has have been into Royal Society and, and was being one of the experts in, in medicine. Kasi magaling siya. Naging ka, na, ma, may mga nakasama siya doon ng mga scientist at kilalang scientist. Just like Robert Brown, nakasama niya si Robert Brown doon. Di ba si Robert Brown nakadiscover na may science ba ako? Di, wala. Okay, so much for that. 
And of course, Christopher Wren who contributed not only to architecture but also to astronomy. And the latter was a government institution and was included as a foreign member of the Dutchman Huygens. In the 18th century, important royal academics were established in Berlin because these are the places actually na binibisita ni Rizal, Berlin, St. Peter Petersburg, and the societies and academics provided the principal opportunities for the publication and discussion of scientific results during and after the scientific revolution. Let's have the first academics of science from the 16th century. Ito yung mga kilalang akad academia or the academics or schools. Academia del Lensil in Rome, Academia del Cimento in Rome, the Royal Society in Florence, the, the Academy of the Sciences in Paris. Ito yung mga naunang na-established na academics in the rise during 16th century. The rebirth and development of science began with the publication of books that are now considered as the main monuments of modern science. Imagine, this is actually the, the main monument, sir. In other words, these are the, really the foundation because recent advancement, recent body of knowledge being discovered are just pieces of what have been established before in the modern science. First is that on the, on the revolution of heavenly spheres by the Nicholas Copernicus, Second is that on the fabric of the human body by Andreas Vesalius, sa uh, anatomy ito, anatomy and physiology. Principia Mathematica of Sir Isaac Newton, Trieti de la Lumiere of Christian Huygens. Those are the things involved in our lesson 2 on the survey. Those are just the things that pave the way on the importance of the development in science and technology in the Renaissance period. Prior, right after the Middle Ages, here comes 15th the centuries that really propels. Ito yung mga naging tumula. Kaya there are so many discoveries, advancement right after dito. Kasi they were able to think that why is it that Nicholas Copernicus and Andres Vesalius were, were able to have this? Any addition to our lesson 2 on the survey of scientific development? you have something to add? Baka may meron kayong nakita na the perhaps a need to emphasize here. Okay, so perhaps there's no more questions.